Hello, uh, declination case study. Uh, firstly, a little bit astronomy, what declination is. Uh, you see, um, declination, this is about equatorial system of coordinates or about uh, uh, equatorial uh, zodiac. You see, look at this picture. Uh, by the way, I got this picture, this is not my picture, I got it uh, from uh, Wikipedia, this is address for this picture, and it explains very good uh, what declination is. Uh, look at this, uh, this red plane. This is uh, ecliptic. This is ecliptic. This is how sun moves over the, uh, from, over the sky. And this um, uh, green plane, this one. This is uh, about. Uh, this is um, uh, equator. Equator. This is Earth rotation. And as you know, this is south. This is north. And as you know, the angle separation between these two planes, ecliptic and equator. Um, uh, 23 degrees. This is why uh, seasons change from uh, from um, from winter to summer. And uh, one more thing: uh, pay attention that uh, this point, this is an uh, interception between these two planes. This uh, this is uh, uh, zero areas uh, when ecliptic uh, crosses uh, uh, equator from uh, south to north. This is zero areas. And uh, to calculate declination, uh, we use um, uh, equatorial coordinates, equatorial zodiacs. This is these two angles. This angle, first angle, this is right ascension. This is a kind of, um, kind of um, uh, longitude. Uh, this is angle separation between zero areas and uh, your um, uh, no, planets or whatever, this angle. And uh, this is uh, declination. This is kind of uh, longitude, uh, latitude, sorry, latitude in equatorial sea coordinates. So this is um, declination. So once again, uh, right ascension, this is longitude in uh, equatorial coordinates and uh, declination, this is uh, latitude in equatorial coordinates. And now I will show you how to, actually you can check, uh, you can check this information uh, uh, using, there are many sources. This is just uh, basic of astronomy. Okay, now I will show you uh, how to use declination with time solution, how to use it to build some forecasting models, whatever. Okay. Now I will show you how to calculate time uh, declination with time solution software. Uh, you see, I have downloaded here already DAO. Uh, let's display last uh, few months. You, by the way, you can do it clicking this button. You see, click this button and you will get a uh, last uh, two months of price history and uh, the simplest way to calculate calc declination for example we, we can use this model uh, astrological prediction technique and now today is uh, January 20th just click here and program will show um, zodiac the uh, will uh, transiting plan pl 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 planets in the uh, geocentric uh, coordinates and here I can switch and it can uh, de de choose declination zodiac, and it will show the planets uh, in a declination zodiac. This is uh, south hemisphere, and this is uh, north hemisphere. There are more planets in south hemisphere. It's okay because uh, sun in uh, south hemisphere. It's because it's now in uh, in, in Canada. This is uh, now it's winter. And here you can see a planetary position. By the way, here you can see. Uh, aspects. So this is a conjunction between planets and uh, declination zodiac. Uh, this is actually uh, parallel aspects, and you can see uh, how this uh, aspect changes in time. Like I click here, double click here, and I can see uh, when aspect, this aspect culminates, then change direction. So everything is available. The next model I recommend to you. This is uh, tools, and this is uh, horizontal ephemeris. I just click here and you see you can display you can firstly you can choose uh, any zodiac there let's choose uh, declination here it is and let's uh, i will show you declination for sun and after that i will show you a declination for other points click calculate calculate and wait a bit yep Uh, you see, this is uh, declination. It's um, uh, sun is the lowest uh, declination. It's uh, a few days before Christmas here. By the way, here in Canada, in uh, 
uh, north hemisphere and then declination increasing increasing getting higher higher sun getting high it's summer coming i will drive my bicycle i will okay whatever and uh, so it reaches um, uh, max value uh, it's uh, summer it's uh, ge ge january 22 21 and then it uh, goes uh, back again to lowest level so this is how declination for sun changes this is uh, this is uh, seasonal changes now uh, i will show declination for other planets let's calculate and wait a bit I click calculate okay it's calculated and you see you see a declination for all planets you see this is sun declination this is uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, uh, this is Mercury and this is uh, Uranus. So you can change the color for any planets. Like for Mercury, let's do it. Let's do it uh, bold. Mercury declination. You see this line for Mercury. So uh, everything is adjustable. And what is important, it sho also shows uh, conjunction. Then uh, planets. Uh, have the same declination. This is a parallel aspect. You see, this is uh, uh, cycles here, here, there. So you can calculate color declination this way. If you need just ephemeris, just um, tools and uh, ephemeris, click uh, here zodiac, zodiac. What is zodiac? Uh, here it is, zodiac uh, declination, and click calculate. You will get declination. So minus it's. Uh, uh, south plus uh, this is uh, north and one more module one more module mm, ephemeris are ah, the same ephemeris model by the way okay the same model you can de uh, display uh, declinations uh, this way what is by the way sorry Geo. declination click calculate and you will see declination here you see all declination for all planes here and you can see how declination changes so, but uh, if you need uh, some statistical analysis, I recommend to use another model. So this is uh, ULE, Universal Language of Events model. Okay, I will show you how to do that. Now we will try to build a uh, declination indicator. Indicator that is based on uh, planetary declinations. Okay, uh, so what we will do i switch now to ule panel click in this button with this icon and run model editor uh, you see the simplest way actually you can run uh, ule library click in this button you see this button small uh, left top side corner and uh, you will get uh, you see uh, there is item here declination and uh, let's calculate declination chart venus declination chart I click OK here and I will get a declination. This uh, Venus, Venus declination. Uh, let's calculate and look how a Venus declination chart looks together with DAO. You see, this is how it looks. OK, and uh, how uh, the question is, uh, can uh, Venus declination, Venus declination uh, use it uh, for, to forecast DAO? Uh, of course, we can uh, check uh, the whole price history. This is about 140 years. And uh, I guess this is not a good idea. Uh, I recommend to use to apply statistical analysis and you can do it using this button. Click this button and uh, just sec, you will get correlation. Correlation between, between Venus and uh, Dow. Uh, it's about uh, 3%. Uh, little bit more. Actually, it's not big correlation. Let's uh, analyze cor correlation that uh, five percent and higher. Uh, one more thing. You see, this is target. Target. How we compare uh, uh, Venus oscillation with Dow? Because we cannot apply Dow itself. Dow now, Dow fifty years ago, Dow hundred years ago. There are totally different values, and we have to normalize uh, Dow. In order to do that, I usually I use this indicator, relative price oscillator, uh, with uh, Windows with uh, window uh, 50 days. Uh, but you can use actually any. You can uh, apply MACD. You can apply volatility, RSI, ADX. Uh, but I prefer to use the simplest one. So uh, statistical analysis shows that correlation between Venus and the uh, oscillator and uh, 
um, uh, real view price oscillator for DAO for last almost 140 years. It's uh, uh, a little bit more than a th 3%. It's smaller scale relation. Now I recommend to do this. I recommend to check all planetary combinations. Let's start with Sun. Sorry. With Sun. So now you see we need to replace with Sun. Here we still have. Uh, I will do it bigger, this font bigger. We, here we still still have Venus. Let's replace it to Sun, Sun declination. Click calculate. And now you can click this button, or you, by, the way, by the way, you can click this button and choose this item here. And so correlation between Sun and, uh, and, and uh, DAO, or relative price oscillator for DAO, it's uh, 1% only. It's not, it's not working. Uh, so uh, next combination, this is uh, uh, Sun Mercury. I will not use Moon. Click replace. Now then we have uh, angle separation, angle between uh, Sun and Mercury. Click calculate. Watch statistic. Uh, 1.7%. Okay, you see, uh, check all planetary combination. Uh, I have found uh, three planetary combination. Maybe there are more. Just uh, fast research shows that there are three planetary combination. The first combination, uh, this is angle separation between Sun and um, Mars. I replace this event. I will show how it works. So I will calculate uh, co uh, correlation. Correlation is uh, ne negative, negative, uh, uh, minus 5.6%. Uh, uh, this is how it works in time, this year. But because it's negative, we need to invert this event. But we will do this way. Uh, this is first event. Another, an, another unplanetary combination I have found. This is uh, Venus combination, uh, Venus, and the separation between Venus and Jupiter. Jupiter here, uh, declination, sorry, and put here, and one more, uh, Mars, Mars, Mars declination. Okay, so now I put L1 plus L2 plus L3, combination of, uh, actually we have to put here some weights for uh, these uh, events, but I will it's uh, will do it later. Let's do it this way. I click uh, this more button, run a simple Ulea model. So we'll uh, put all this, these events in a simple Ulea model. You see L1, L2, and 3. And, and now you see what it's calculated and I switch to a solutions panel again and you see this is just superposition of this declination but you see because uh, this declination uh, they have to wait it for, for each declination for L1, L2, L2 and L3 we have to set some weight I recommend to do this, click this button and we will get weights for these declinations here they are and uh, resulting resulting index uh, this one just a sec. So uh, this is declination index optimized. It based on uh, three uh, declination uh, terms, uh, but I recommend to play with more terms. Uh, I would like to finish this video with uh, this reminder. Uh, first thing, this is about target. Uh, what we compare. Uh, actually, I have already explained to you because we uh, cannot apply, we cannot compare uh, DAO itself. We have to uh, normalize it. And uh, second, you see uh, a uh, second issue. You should remember about events periods. For example, uh, suppose we analyze uh, uh, angle separation that involve Moon, like uh, Moon, Sun, Moon, Venus, and so on. Uh, the periods for these events. Uh, about months. At, at the same time, we analyze events uh, that involve uh, slow planets like uh, Jupiter, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, uh, and so on. The periods for these events, it's uh, 
more than 10 years and you see usually we will get high correlation for events uh, that uh, have bigger periods bigger periods for we will get a high correlation for uh, Jupiter or Uranus then a moon uh, moon uh, something moon or sun and uh, it does not mean that uh, higher planes the planes that with bigger periods work better and uh, not there is another reason because uh, for higher planets, uh, higher, uh, for slow planets, we have um, we have bigger uh, bigger periods and we have small sample size. The um, uh, this uh, uh, angle separation makes um, less oscillation oscillations than compared with the moon. And uh, yeah, it uh, brings uh, us high dispersion, and uh, this is uh, for this reason we have higher random year for slow planets. So once again, uh, we cannot compare uh, moon and slow planets using the same me metric, the same measure. This is the same as uh, to try to compare apple, car, and airplanes. Uh, okay, thank you.